I don't know what it is about new cars and YouTube, but it really gets the people going. It's provocative. I don't know if this one will have the same effect. Now then YouTube, welcome to another video. A new car, really? Well, not quite. But we'll see what we can do. So, what's happened? Well, long story short, these lads have got a drift event booked in September. And I thought, I fancy doing that. So I had a quick look around for some cars, try and get a cheap E36 or something maybe. And um, it seems these cars don't really exist anymore. So I had a bit more of a think about it. And then I remembered about this thing, which lives behind the unit. This is where we are. We're on the other side of that wall is the Integra, right? So we worked out a bit of a deal and yeah, new drift car, another green BMW. It's gotta be a good thing, right? Now it might look like an absolute sack of shit at the minute. That's because it does look like an absolute sack of shit at the minute. I actually planned today to do the usual, you know, got a new car, new project car thing, and we'd wash it and have a look around it, but it's not even got a rear axle on at the minute. It definitely needs a little bit of TLC. What it does have though, in its favor, if we have a look under here, working gas struts, M54, B30, three litre. Manuel, of course. Yeah, this is a three litre estate, a 330i. Are you excited yet? A little bit more excited? So more power than what my coupe had. Obviously, quite a bit more weight now. Nice big spy, they're just crawling out. I don't know if you can see that. But it's, it's been here for a while. It's not really been loved. It had a Skyline shell sat on its roof for quite a while. Just getting it here without an axle. It's all dented at the back from just being lifted and mishandled. It needs some love. It really needs some love. And the lads who have got, you know, these drifty guys, you know. An IC46 330i. Premium these days, isn't it? You try and find an IC46 330i. Now, this is obviously a green one. It's a very early one. I think it's a, maybe a Y reg or something. So it's one of the first ones that were released. What do they call it? They call it the bogey, which you know, I don't mind, in its current state, I don't mind that name, but I've got an idea for what we should call it and what we'll try and work towards. Now, obviously I like trailer park boys a bit, you probably heard the odd reference. I want to make this into the green bastard. What do you think about that? I think, yeah, it's definitely a bit of a bogey now. It fucking, it stinks. We're smack next to a slurry pit, so it really does smell out here at the minute and there's so much moss. We'll have a closer look at it in a second, but this is the bogey now, yeah, we're gonna, the green bastard, that's where we're going, I think. Right, let's have a closer look at this then. I mean, as I said, no rear axle at all at the minute. It's actually over here, the rear axle. Where is she? Someone started burning the bushes out and then got bored by the looks, just left it. There's a diff prop. Now the engine bay, Definitely seen better days. I saw some some pretty gnarly spiders in here last time I was around. I don't know if there's any floating around we can have a look at. Got some bait around the uh, ABS pump, looking good. But she's she's a 330. That is a three litre straight six. Does it have oil? Where's the dipstick on these? There we go. Does it have oil in it? Oh. <sighs> Oh, absolute perfectly black oil, exactly what you want. Someone's fitted a hydro, don't know how I feel about that. In fact, I think I helped them fit that ages ago. Nice little bat box there. No stereo. I wonder if it starts up. It's got to be worth a try on it. The key's in it, so. Oh, totally dead. Look at these chrome surrounds though, eh? If you know your BMWs, you know this is a 330, got the chromies. Sunroof, nice feature, do like a sunroof. I guess one of the main things that we're hoping then is that the wildlife hasn't damaged anything in there. If you're spiders then we'll be all right, won't we? But 
An interesting brake line coming out of here. I guess that must be from the hydro. I hope that means that... Uh, I wonder if they've tapped out of the rear brakes. Uh, obviously not a huge fan of these. But I do hear that they're covering some pretty nasty rust. Which is... Uh, yeah, I might think I'd rather have the rust to be honest. But and here's the damage from when the car was brought to its current resting location. Nice big dent. And there was a Skyline shell sat on top of it for a while. From one tour into another. Let's see if we can give it some life. Alright, shut up. So this is obviously just a bit of an introductory video. I've just finished off working on the MR2 today. Getting that sorted, so... I've been meaning to make a video on this car for a couple of weeks now. But... MR2. Now I know a lot of you will be thinking, fuck's sake, why have you got another project, dickhead? Like, you know, it's not really another project, is it? Because I've not had to buy it. That's a massive bonus. No money out. What it needs to be fixed? Well... If I was going to go on this drift day anyway, then I would need a car, right? So, why not an old Bimsy like this one? Try earthing it there, give it some... Oh, it liked that. <laughs> oh, it liked that. 140,000 miles. Wow, the shifter is looser than loose. Wow. We might have to do something about that. But shall we see if it fires? Now bear in mind there's no exhaust on it, so we can't run it, but let's just see if it fires. Ooh. Let's try starting Bimsy, number one. I'm on a bit of an MPG mission on this lately, that's why I didn't want to run. I've got it to say that it's doing over 40 average. <laughs> I didn't want to leave it idling in case that dipped. Yes, that's what my life's become these days. But regardless, give it some more volts. And now will she fire? <laughs> she fires all right. She sounds angry. If you die, it's fine. That's, you can die if you want. Fucking hell. Well, it works. I know, I know. Let's get the MPG bus out the way. 40.9 still on the fucking readout, boys. I am doing 72 everywhere though, so pretty sad but that's what my life has become excuse me sir it would appear your Honda channel has become somewhat about BMWs oh yes yes it would appear to have yes I concur so we didn't even get any fires So then, just a quick intro video to warm you up to what you might be seeing in the future. As I said in a previous video, I'm going to try and make more videos and this is an ideal car for a video or two, isn't it? It's never going to be pretty, so plus one, because we don't want a pretty drift car. And we're going to take it to some awful places and just send the absolute fuck out of it. And yeah, it might eventually end up in a wall or two. But even that green E36 that I had was a bit too nice to be drifting in. This, this is not too nice to be drifting in. And although it's only a 3 litre, yeah, it's, it should have enough power. We're going to try and lose as much weight as we can. We'll get it absolutely stripped to death. Get it real stiff, get rid of these shitty parts here and there. Real budget build though, we're going to do it the cheapest we can. I'm excited. I don't know if anyone's still interested. 
and seeing what happens with the green bastard, but parts lists are currently being made. I'm going to make a new playlist on YouTube for the green bastard. And yeah, we've got September is a drift day, so we've got five months to get the car ready. So a slow burner maybe, which is ideal, really, you know, don't have to just chuck loads of money at it once. Apparently all we need to do is bushes and bolt everything back together, but I guess we'll see. So that's all from me and the green, well, we'll call it the bogey for now. It's not quite, it's not quite unlocked green bastard status yet. Fucking hell, look at these pins. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of dodgy stuff going on, but we can, uh, we can make it work. So, drift build, probably not what you want to see. Yes, the Integra is also still high on the priority list. Higher than this, definitely higher than this. But this is going to be a, a fun project to do, I think. And then ultimately, we'll take it to drift land in Scotland, do some skids, have a good time. Everyone's happy. Sound good? All right. Well, thanks for watching. From me and the cows. You good, good to do a little outro with me, do you think? Is that all right? Just a little outro? No? Camera shy? What about you? I can see your rump, but not your face. Hey? Okay. Wanna say goodbye? No wave to the camera. It's time to go. We've, we've done the, the intro video on the next car and you know that one that like you've you've probably been looking at that for a while now, aren't you? I know it looks a bit crap, but we're gonna we're gonna do it up and uh yeah not too fancy obviously but yeah do it up a little bit and then uh take it take it drifting. Yeah? Are you not interested? No? You want the integra as well. I know, I want the integra back, but it's uh it's a slow burner, isn't it? Yeah, three or four years is pretty slow, but you know. We'll get it done. Yeah, well, I don't think Nürburgring is going to really happen this year with COVID and all that. I've got a track day booked, but it's looking less and less likely, you know, every day pretty much. He's a big lad him over there, isn't he? He's massive. All right, anyway, we're waffling, so are you going to, are you going to wave? No? All right, never mind. All right, so hope you've enjoyed watching. Bit of an intro. Let's make this bogey into a bastard. Yeah? <laughs>